Peace to the 12. This is going to be the short version and a little bit revised version of the version I, of, a, of a video I just did titled The Offense of White Jesus. I think I'm going to title this video The Lies of White Jesus, but whatever. All right, so back to the thing. The reason I'm even doing this video, I was inspired by Deuteronomy 16 and 20, right? I was inspired by this verse. I had read the whole Bible and now I'm reading it again and I'm back on Deuteronomy and I noticed something that I didn't notice the first time because I had no knowledge of it. So it's important to go back over the scriptures, by the way. Anyway, Deuteronomy 16 and 20. I'm just going to get to the point 22. Neither shalt thou set thee up in the image which the Lord thy God hateth. All right. So it says, don't set up any image that the Lord thy God hateth. Well, one thing that God hates on record, according to the Bible, is none other than Aishashua. All right. Or as he's commonly known today as Esau. All right, Jacob, I love, but Esau, I hate it. Romans 9 and 13. You can also go to Malachi chapter 1, verse 1 through 4, and you'll learn once again, yes, the Most High, Yahweh, Vashem, Yahweh Shai, who you call God, hates none other than Aishashua. All right, so this would be in violation of what he said. Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God hateth. All right. Now, when you type in Jesus, which he's commonly called of today, when you type in Jesus, you see all these different people, right? You see all these images and stuff. Well, is this what he looked like? Of course it isn't. And there's actually a description of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Revelations 1 and 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white. Where is the white hair at? That's how you know, that's how you know these, they ain't got the truth in their lying. Where is the white hair at? His head and his hair are white like wool, as white as snow. He had white hair. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like onto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, dark skin. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So he had a deep voice, like a sound of many waters. He had a James Earl Jones, Darth Vader voice, an Isaac Hayes voice. He had one of them, one of them uh, voices, you know what I'm saying? Which when you see this guy, this effeminate abomination that they try to call the Lord, this guy right here, these guys, he always talks soft-spoken. Doesn't sound like the voice of many waters. He's like, oh, come on, brother, dash and I. And that ain't how the Lord was talking. All right, so right there, that's a lie. And yes, this is Esau. All right, all right, Ashashua. All right, now, I'm going to do something else. Every time we type in a picture of Jesus, right? You get this, you get these things, but you know, it's always something missing in these pictures. Where are his fringes at? Where are his fringes at? Because we read Deuteronomy 22 and 12, right? He say, Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters of thy vesture, wherewith, wherewith thou coverest thyself. Numbers 15 and 38, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders of a ribbon of blue an example of what fringes would look like would be right here all right this would be an example of fringes man all right so where are his fringes at we know that the most we know that we know that your house was perfect all right which means he would have been wearing fringes where they at man all right so that's disqualification again man violation all right i typed in a picture of moses and and, and uh uh, the the Israelites. I typed that in. This popped up, right? You got Moses. You got these guys. Now you see these guys. They have brown or red hair, right? Brown or red hair. I already type in a Jewish woman. I said Jewish because YouTube's weird about names. The Jewish woman. They have brown hair, blonde hair, all this, right? Red hair, brown, red hair, whatever, right? Well, what color were the Israelites' hair? Well, let's see. We're going to find out. Leviticus 13 and 31. And if the priest look on the plague of the skull, and behold, it be not in, in the sight, deeper than the skin, and that there is no black hair in it, black hair in it, then the priest shall shut up him that hath the plague of the skull seven days. So the priest is checking for black hair. If he ain't got no black hair, hey, he's still unclean. Leviticus 13 and 37. Let's get it again. But if the skull be in his sight at a stay, and that there is black hair grown up, 
therein the skull is healed he is clean and the priest shall pronounce him clean so right now you know if they're checking for black hair you know that all the israelites at this time had black hair all right matthew 5 and 36 right neither shalt thou swear by thy head because thou canst not make one hair white or black so he said one hair white or black once again our people either had white hair our people either had white hair or they had black hair period all right so what 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 is all this huh what is this who is this guy see it's a violation all right which brings me to these pictures of blonde hair jesus man look at this this is abomination all right and the most i hate this image number one the most i hate esau and this is an image of uncleanness. Leviticus 13 and 29. If a man or a woman have a plague upon the head or the beard, then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest, key word, yellow thin hair, right? Yellow thin hair. All right. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Unclean. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or a beard. So this right here would be considered a leprosy, man. All right. Let's look up yellow thin hair. Look up blonde. Blonde. Yellow. Blonde. Yellow of hair. Go to this right here, right? Blonde. The resultant visible hue depends on various factors, but always has some yellowish color yellowish color yellow hair yellow thin hair right all right let me debunk some pseudoscience while i'm at it too look you read this little thing right here it says because hair color tends to darken with age natural blonde hair is significantly less common in adulthood naturally occurring blonde hair is primarily found in people living in or descended from people who lived in northern half of europe all right or, and may have evolved alongside the development of light skin that enables more efficient synthesis of vitamin D. So they're trying to say all oh, these people that lived in North Europe and they evolved to have blonde hair. That's bullshit. I'm going to tell you right now how that's bullshit. Uh, So-called black people uh, can be born with natural blonde hair. Of course they could. We learned that it's a leprosy. All right, yellow thin hair. So, of course, this issue had happened and occurred. All right, and it was a plague of leprosy. All right, but originally we have black hair. So that's how we know that. So let's debunk that. And second of all, these people do not come from Northern Europe. All right. That's made up. That's a lie. These people come from Mount Seir. All right. Anyway, let's get on another lie. The lie of Christmas. You see this madness? You see this abomination? All right. Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, observed primarily on December 25th as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. So this is for the for Jesus Christ, right? Which his real name once again is Yahweh Shai. But um, so all right, let's type in Christmas in the Bible. Christmas occurs zero times in zero verses in the KJV Bible or in any Bible. There are no concordance results for Christmas in the KJV. Primary dictionary zero, lexiconic zero. So Christmas ain't got nothing to do. With our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So you can get that damn lie out too. Alright, just a common lie. But I'll tell you what, Christmas is mentioned in the Bible. The custom is Jeremiah 10. And we're going to start at 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain for one cutteth a tree out of the forest the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe cutteth the tree out of the forest right they deck it with silver and with gold all right they deck it they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not deck the halls they got a song called deck the halls which is for christmas that's speaking on christmas in a negative way and you're not supposed to be learning the way of the heathen, man. You're not supposed to be celebrating no damn Christmas, man. Period. 
All right, and you're going to find out that these people, wait, wait, you mean to tell me that Christmas has nothing to do with the Bible and what, and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what, man? This is how you know. That's why I showed you this in the beginning, right? I told you it occurs zero times in the Bible. Well, check this out. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, what word? The words of the Bible, the words of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, right? It is because there is no light in them. All right. So if you're speaking not according to this word, it's because there's no light in you, period. All right. And if you're speaking about Christmas, ain't no light in you. There's no truth of the light of the scriptures within you, man. Period. All right. And these people that celebrate it. All right. They're going to find out, man. Isaiah 45 and 20. All right. They're going to be angry. <laughs> Assemble yourselves. Hold on. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get Isaiah 8 and 20. I'm going to read this again. But I'm going to read all of it. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And they shall pass through it hardly, bestead and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their God and look upward. Yeah, they're going to be real mad. They're going to be real mad. They're going to feel upset and forsaken. Because they're going to say, I celebrate Christmas. I believe in Jesus and this and that. Hey, and they're going to be destroyed. Because I'll tell you right now, hey, a hell is coming on this earth this world's never seen, man. All right? And if you're not under the protection of the Heavenly Father and His holy angels, all right, through the blood of your house, shy, hey, man, you fucked, man. Straight up. All right? And these people, they're actually going to look up like this woman. All right? And they're going to curse their king and their God and look upward. Period. And they shall look onto the earth and behold trouble and darkness, dimness and anguish. And they shall be driven to darkness. Yeah, that's when that hell come on this earth, known as Jacob's trouble, man. Hey, when all hell break loose, hey, that cross ain't gonna save you. Christmas ain't gonna save you. And white Jesus definitely ain't gonna save you, man. Period. All right, let's get that too on this wooden cross while I'm at it. Isaiah 45 and 20. Assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge. And they have no knowledge. I just told you this ain't in there. All right. Because the knowledge ain't in them. The knowledge ain't in them, man. They have no knowledge. That set up the wood of the graven image. What wood of the graven image? This damn cross. And pray unto a God that cannot save. See that? So that's period. See that? And who is he coming to save? 25 and the lord shall all the seed of israel be justified and shall glory man all right so that's why i say peace to the 12 you 12 tribes of israel now you might ask this question okay then well how did this happen well i'll tell you how it happened let's go to job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked who runs the world all right Hey, if you got a brain, you can tell. All right, the people that run the world, it's not the people from India. All right, it's not the Africans. All right, it's not the Samoans. All right, or the Vietnamese. Hey, if you got a brain, you know who, run, who runs the world. All right, and they, they were given the earth. It was given into the hand of the wicked. You can also read uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 9. I tell you Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, so it tells you straight up Esau is the end of the world. So how did this happen? Well, once the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, what did he do? What did he do after this was given to the hands? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's what he did. He's covering the faces of the judges, man. Tell you more of that in, in, in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. What heathen in particular? The wicked. All right. Who is who? Esau, Edom. So he whitewashed the image, man. And that's where you get Serapis Christos or you get Caesar Borgia, whichever image you get depending on the very. Look up Serapis Christos, by the way. All right. But you know what? Although they whitenized us and made us look like this and that and tried to pretend that they was us, guess what, man? Psalms 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. All right, and the truth coming out. 
You find 15th century Bible depicting St. Matthew and the Israelites, saints as black or Negroes, man. You find that, period. Now look, at they also got the white hair. You see that? This is the 15th century. All right, you find pictures of uh, Israelites laboring in Egypt. You can see their skin tone. All right, so the truth sprang forth out of the earth through artifacts, through books, through literature, through literature, through images. All right, now, and, and ultimately, this is going to be, I didn't even add this in my first video, but ultimately, this is going to be what's going to happen to all these images, right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 7 on down. For blessed is the wood whereby righteousness cometh, but that which is made with hands is cursed. See that? That which is made with hands is cursed. As well it and he that made it. All right. Who made the, who made who made this? Esau. So he's cursed, period. All right. He that made it. He because he made it and it because being corruptible, it was called God. And they call this God, man. Right. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. So the Lord going to catch up with you, man. He going to visit you nations. That's what Gentiles, you nations. Because in the creature of God, they are become an abomination and a stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. Yeah, people get snared and ensnared and caught up following after believing these damn stupid ass customs, believing in white Jesus. All right. They get caught up in these dumbass images, man. These fake images. All right. So they try to. And who does that? The unwise. Because someone that knows and hey, they know these images are not to be true. Right. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. So all these idols got to go. For by the vain glory of men, they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. So all this, all that shit finna be over with, man. So that's it on this. This is a short version of a longer video I did. I titled this, The Lie of White Jesus. And with that, I say peace to the twelve. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to say Shalom, which means peace to you people that are listening and learning, to you brothers pushing this work in truth and sincerity, and to you elders that's been doing this thing before me, man. I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.